we went over a little bit of what's in lesson 3.8 on that putter activity where I put the video in and you did the you did the measurement of the difference of the means. So in general, what we want to do, uh, they call it inference for experiments. Inference means you want to be able to make a prediction or not. So you want to know if your experiment has merit or if it just occurred by random. And by has merit, I mean we call it statistically significant. So what we want to do is we want to outline an experiment that uses completely randomized design. We want to talk about that. We want to explain the concept of statistical significance in the context of an experiment that's completely randomized. And we want to use simulation to determine between the two means if the pro or proportions, excuse me, in an ex experiment is statistically significant. And I went over that in that introductory activity for the putter, and we'll refer to it again here, so we'll keep this short and sweet. When they talk about completely randomized design, it means that you have to set up your experiment in a certain way. So um, your randomized assignment, what participants get assigned to each group of 10, that has to be done totally independently. Um, it has to be uh, done using a random sample. The sizes of the group and the treatment um, must be the same. And the response variable, the mean distance from the hole in the ten put in the uh, putts, the um, the mean distance. So, you did it. Ten people use long putter. Ten people use the short putter. You found that the mean distance of each of those, and then we did the difference. So the completely randomized design would be: you have twenty randomly selected people. These will be seniors in your class. You assign randomly assign ten to one group and 10 to the other using some kind of simple random sampling. The one group uses the long putter to putt, the other one uses the short putter. So now we have a randomized selection of people and then we measure the distance they are from the hole and then we, take, we compare them by taking the mean distance of this group and the mean distance of this group and we do find the difference. So that will be what's called a completely randomized design. So what they again mean is the experimental units, meaning the people, the participants in the experiment are assigned to the treatments completely by chance. That's what a completely randomized design is. And then I'll ask you to um, watch this video about talking on your cell phone um, by driving. So there, here's the link and it'll give you sort of another completely randomized design. Now, statistically significant, we talked about in the putter video before this. The idea is if something is statistically significant, it means there's some reason that caused it to happen other than just being a random occurrence. We can't tell what that reason is, but we just know it occurs. And what we do is we use simulation. We do one experiment, we take the results, we simulate those results, and then we want that our results to occur a very small amount of time in the simulation. If that's the case, our results are statistically significant. If our results occur a lot, now what does a lot mean? I would say above 10% of the time in the simulation, then we can say, eh, it's probably just a random occurrence and it's not statistically significant. Okay, again, what we want to do is statistical significance indicates that an observed relationship is not likely to be due by chance. That's the key, okay? There's a, another activity that I'll do a separate video for that will go through um, identifying statistical significance. So this activity, which the link is here, I'll have a video in that activity. So this is one of those videos that comes with uh, the program. So this is, um, you, you're either taking an aspirin or a placebo. So again, would you please watch the video? And then there's another video that talks about statistically significant with simulation. Um, and then there's a, just some stuff that I put down. Now again, the final thing is the 5% in the simulation is not hard and fast. Like if, if your results occur 6% in the simulation, it doesn't mean 
that it's not statistically significant. This 5% is sort of an, uh, is random. So the problems that we'll encounter will be way above 10% random. Below 10%, hopefully closer to below 5%, statistically significant.